Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Shit. That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? doesn't make this much of a mess. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. 
Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Or the boy was faffing about, playing sods and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? I'll need to get a dustpan one of these days. Bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. You cut yourself, but didn't put the poker away after? Oh, I'm sorry, me housekeeping's not up to your standards. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? What kind of toy was it? Lord, if I know, Big B, he has so many worthless bubbles.
I think Ma Junior has a crush on your girl. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. Most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out what. Tell me what's up, right now. You know what happens if you don't. We've already been through this, mate. There's just... there's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on, now. We're friends, right? <clears throat> oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up. Big B, I... It even has the faintest whiff of bullshit. I'm gonna... Dad! Big B, is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Pigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. We come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman ain't. Or thought he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. What did you tell him? If you're worried about your own skin, forget it. I didn't tell him nothing about you or your shit. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya.
I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. You'll be all right. So, the Prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mundy's maybe, but this is different. Can you hear me? Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Oh my god. Hey, hey, stay with me, Lawrence. No. Be all right. No. Let me go. She. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Did you find it yet? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. What happened? <laughs> Faith. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this.
Amir showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp, and there's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Second-hand paperbacks, old encyclopedias, dusty, no one's read these in a while. 
Stay here. No. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. On the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Hmm. The guy, I mean guys who attacked me, D and Dumb, they've got something to do with all this. You think so? I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking, hmm, it's a hunch.
Thanks I for wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I... Um, just be careful. Please. The same goes for you. I will. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? How about I buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off?
Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. You guys playing right now? Nah. H? Well, that'd be you, Holly. So, who's WD? No idea. Because it's also the first letter in the name. Woodsman. Yeah, I get it. If you're not playing, then you don't mind if I, uh... stools in this place you got a problem friend I don't like you and now you're sitting right next to me you could ask me to move you're gonna order something or are you just here to bother my customers you know what I mean Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is gonna get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Paper towels in the saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grant. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? 
There's not much to explain. It's no big secret. I needed money. I'd walked past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it, but she had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? You're backing the wrong guy. If you saw what I saw last night, you'd know that. What I see is someone who wouldn't be here if I was the one needing the law for some help. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Had enough. Whiskey. Double.
shit. It's not like you were gonna pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. You hit him first! Yeah, but he was being an asshole. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. It's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. Got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. <sighs> what did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you?